Hi, I'm Vera. In this video, I'm going to be telling you more about finding your best colors and why you shouldn't look to your hair and eye color charts to find your season. And I want to start by telling you a little truth. And that simple truth is that by looking at you, by finding your color season, you are going to get a very broad range of colors and that does not guarantee you finding the best colors. It does bring you closer, but it, it doesn't guarantee the best ones. And does that mean that the seasonal color analysis system is wrong? No, it doesn't. It definitely does bring you closer, but you must keep in mind that everybody has a unique personal skin color and no two seasons, no two people in the exact same season, whether it's a warm autumn or a bright spring, are going to have the same effect with the same colors. So each one would have slightly different best colors. And the reason for that is because our skin is made up of particles of melanin. And you've probably heard of that. There are two types. There's something called pheomelanin and eumelanin. Pheomelanin is red to yellow based and that's most common in people with a fair skin complexion like ones in the north or the Scandinavians. And then there is something called eumelanin, which is a black to brown kind of uh, particle, which is present in the races uh, with darker skin. Now, everybody has both, just in different percentages. And that really affects the way your skin looks. And as well, even more importantly than the percentage of those two forms of melanin, are the size of the particles themselves. Sometimes you have larger eumelanin particles which make your skin look darker, more brown. Other people would have larger pheomelanin particles will make it more red-based. And another thing that contributes to all of this is uh, your red blood cells. And the reason that this actually plays a huge role is that for people with very thin skin, um, it's so transparent that you could see the red blood vessels through. And this gives the skin a slightly pink cast, which we see in a lot of cool skinned individuals. So that'd be the winters and the summers. And one last thing is the keratin present in the skin. I found that with people who have thicker skin, usually they have more beta keratin, which is an orange to yellow color. And that becomes present and gives a person a more uh, warm complexion because we see uh, warm as more yellow based. So we have all those components working together to give you your unique skin composition. And although you and your parents even can have the same colored eyes and hair and you all have white skin, you may be of a different season because you have that unique composition of elements. And this is why the 12 color system does not pinpoint your best colors. It can guide you in the right direction, but you still have to tweak those colors according to you. So what I suggest doing is going through your palette and tweaking those colors. So let's say you have a pink, which you just feel it's, I don't know, it's not, it's not a wow color like it should. So try going lighter or darker. That's called playing with value or try adding more saturation. So getting rid of the grayness, more pure pigment or do the opposite. Try to make it less saturated by graying it down and see if that works with you because the 12 color seasons, I mean, there, there's no such thing as only 12 types of skin that people can have. I mean, obviously, it's much more. It's 12 times 12, It's or more than that. I also wanted to say that many people, when I tell them about the color system and finding your best colors and how you can be a certain type, they think it's some voodoo stuff, some made up stuff or philosophy or some kind of mysticism, but it's really based on scientific evidence because the color that our skin is, is really a result of the size of the particles, the percentages of the two types of melanin and uh, the keratin in your skin and the red blood vessels under your skin. So really you can't argue with that. And your best colors, finding your best colors is all about identifying which colors resonate the most with your skin to give you that glow. And going back to the topic that many stylists and image consultants, they don't talk about that. It's because if they were to work with you to find your best colors, it's going to take up a lot of, a lot more of their time. And many are not willing to do that. I'm sure that there are some that do, but many 
just work with a the system. They have a certain number of swatches or certain, certain types of drapes. And they just tell you the ones in your season. They give them to you and they say, okay, this works for you. But quite often there's something missing. And that's why people begin to doubt their season. They think, well, these are the colors in my palette, which my um, image consultant suggested. This, uh, he or she said that, oh, it's going to be amazing on me. But I don't feel that way. Well, there might be a reason why. So I suggest tweaking them. And never look to the eye and hair color charts. Again, I can't say this enough. So many people do. They say, okay, uh, brown eyes and brown hair must be an autumn. No, no, look at your skin first. Because there's so many factors that play into your, the way you look. And the skin is what we want to bring out with our clothes. So we want to give ourselves a glow. It doesn't matter what color eyes or what color hair is. It's always going to look good. But by bringing out your skin, so by giving, uh, wearing the right colors that gives you a glow, it's going to automatically make your eyes glow as well. So don't focus on the eyes and the hair. And again, I would like to thank all of you guys for watching and for your lovely comments and suggestions. Keep sending me requests. I love hearing from you and I always want to know which video to make next. So please subscribe for more and I'll see you next time. Bye.